Welcome back. All right, a new report from the CDC, which I was a little surprised to, to hear. It's saying that it that people are still not checking in as often as they should with their primary doctors, uh, certainly those with chronic conditions, because of fear of contacting or, or getting COVID. Well, this morning we're happy to welcome Dr. Kenneth Adams, the Regional Chief Medical Officer of United Healthcare Medicare and Retirement Plan, to talk about why we need to continue to get this message out that people need to see their doctors. I was a little surprised to still hear this, doctor. What was your thoughts? Tell us about this study. We're definitely seeing that uh, out there in the community that people with chronic conditions like lung disease, obesity, diabetes, cardiac disease are 12 times more likely to die uh, because they're afraid to go in and see their physician for fear of contracting COVID. And we're definitely seeing that on the front lines. So how do we, what's your message then? Do people need to be concerned about going to see their doctor? They do need to go see their doctor. They need to be less concerned about seeing their doctor, but following appropriate precautions. Physicians' offices are following strict guidelines requiring masks and social distancing and increasing cleaning. And they're also offering things like curbside visits and telemedicine. So the opportunity to go see your physician is still out there and you need to take advantage of it. So any red flags, you know, as we kind of have your attention here this morning and people watching, any red flags where uh, you might want to let somebody know that, hey, you need to get in much sooner rather than later? I think the most important thing is people with chronic conditions need to be having their routine follow-up visits. Uh, and, and a lot of people are, are avoiding those things. That's the big red flag. If you have a chronic condition, go see your doctor regularly. Uh, the other thing that you need to be concerned about is that during the, the fall and the winter, you can get COVID-19 and the flu. So go get your flu immunization and just take that off the table. Yeah. Um, what rec You know, there is so many different doctor's offices uh, doing different things to keep people safe. Anything that you really particularly want people to know and uh, to make sure that they are doing? I'm assuming mask wearing is still going to be something that you're still, you know, very supportive of. Absolutely, mask wearing is so important. Uh, there's lots and lots of evidence that masks do work. Surgeons wear them in the operating room to keep their patients from becoming infected. They do work, please wear them. The other thing that I want people to be aware of is that telemedicine visits are an opportunity for patients. Uh, it's a, probably the silver lining from COVID-19 is the opportunity to get on your phone and visit with your doctor. You don't have to drive there. You don't have to wait in the waiting room. You don't have to pay for parking. It is convenient. All right. Well, what is your take home message as we get ready to close again to, so we can maybe see these numbers improve because some of this stuff is preventable? Uh, my take home messages for you are one, wear a mask. Number two, go get your flu shot. And number three, if you need more information, go to wellmedhealthcare.com slash see your doctor. All right. Doctor, please tell you and the team uh, how much we appreciate all that you are, are doing in communities, uh, certainly across the nation. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Will do. Thank you. And of course, we'll put all this info on our website so it's easy for you to find. 